Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to archive any super, super important emails that you want to keep on your computer forever. First class, remember, will be around all the way through the summer, so you can still always get back to your emails. But let's say that once first class goes away, you really want to keep a few emails just for whatever reason you want to get back to them. What I've done is inside first class is I made a folder called Save Forever where I have three emails that I'll use as an example. There's two methods that you could do this. The first one that I'm going to show you will not include the attachments. So I see two paper clips here. It will not include those. So I would have to download those attachments and save them separately. I'm going to select all three that I want to keep. I'm going to right click. And the first way I'm going to show you is by selecting Summarize Selected. Now you can kind of see what it's going to look like once we, we export this, but it takes all of them that you selected and it puts them all in one file. And that's nice if you just want to quickly reference back to them. To get this now downloaded, you're going to do File and then Export. You'll choose where you want to export. I'm going to put it on the desktop. And it says Summary of Save Forever because that was the name of the folder I'm bringing it in for. You can change that name. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. And I'm going to select Save. Now once that's saved, I can open up that fol folder or that file on my desktop or wherever I saved it. And when I first open it, it's a text file. So I can take a look at this. I could print it if I want, but I can go back and take a look quickly at any of those super, super important emails. I wouldn't do this for every email. I would pick and choose just those ones that you absolutely need to keep for whatever reason you feel is important. The other option then is to export them in a different way. So this time I'm going to right click and instead of summarizing them, I'm going to choose export. When you do this, it's going to allow you to save the attachments with that file. I'll choose desktop again and press OK. I'll allow that export to happen. And it didn't ask me to name them because what it does is back on my desktop, it's going to create a new file or actually a folder for each of the emails. So here are my three emails and they each have a folder. If I click one of those emails, I can see the content of the email by opening up Microsoft Word. And then I could also go in and see the attachment in the attachments folder and it would ask me what kind of file is it and I could open it. So this is not something that you're required to do, it's just a solution for those that want to absolutely save something on their computer so that they can always get back to it even when first class goes away next year. I hope you found this helpful. Please watch for other Office 365 tips and tutorials.